Arnold Schwarzenegger spoke to CNN about the state of the Republican Party. Let's take a look. I have a lot to say about this. Governor, you famously said that the Republican Party has a problem at the box office. I heard you equate the GOP with the Titanic. Explain. Well, you know, I, I, I told the Republican Party uh, and the, at the Republican convention, uh, it was like 10 years ago, that they're dying at the box office. And the, the reason why I said it was because their policies were such that they were not really including everybody, that so that you have everyone interested. Like, for instance, women, a million women left within a few years because we did not address as a party health care issues, we didn't address education issues, we did not address environmental issues. This was three issues that were very important to women, and we were losing them because we were not addressing those issues. So I was telling them, I said, look, the way you're going, uh, being so anti, you know, health care reform and being so anti-environment and stuff like this, we are losing and we are dying at the box office. Since then, the, the party has decreased. It, it now has only a 26 percent popularity overall. And so it is dying and it, I see it like the Titanic. The only thing is that we don't have to go under completely. We don't have to wait for that moment. Let's change and let's go and be more open and go back to this kind of like a big tent idea of Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan did not have a big tent idea. Okay, but just putting that aside. Listen, this is nothing but catnip for CNN and for centrist Democrats and the Democratic establishment. Listen to what he's saying. Now, to be fair to him, he's talking about specifically in California, oh, the 26%, you know, favorability rating or whatever. That's California. Um, but... In the broader country, nothing can be further from the truth. I mean, these, what are you talking about? To call the Republicans the Titanic, guys, they control every level of government. That's not conjecture. That's not opinion. That's not me putting my spin on it. That's a fact. They have the presidency. They have the majority in the Senate. They have the majority in the House. They have the majority of state legislatures. They have the majority of governorships. So don't, I, I this is, this is all centrist Democrats know how to do is sniff their own farts. Ronald, uh, Ronald Reagan. Arnold Schwarzenegger is not a, a centrist Democrat. He's a Republican, um, a moderate Republican. Um, but this is this whole segment is geared towards getting centrist Democrats to sniff their farts and go, yeah, nothing's wrong at all here. Nah. We're good and they're bad. There's the Titanic sinking even though they control everything. Yes. No, the reality is when the Democratic Party doesn't stand for anything, and they don't, they, most of them are neoliberal corporatist warmongers, when they don't stand for anything, that's when the Republicans win. Have you noticed the Tea Party worked? Why did it work? The whole premise of the Tea Party was anti-establishment rage. And it worked! You want to know why? Because the establishment is screwing everybody. So if... Under Democratic administrations and Republican administrations, the establishment wins and they're screwing everybody. But the Republicans are running as anti-establishment and the Democrats are running as, no, we're not like them, we're the establishment. That's the worst strategy imaginable. And that's how you get a situation where Democrats think they're nailing it, but and they call the Republicans the Titanic, uh, but the Republicans control every level of government. I love how they love, as Republicans win everything in sight, there's nothing but Democrats, like, patting themselves on the back about how great they are happening. <laughs> it's just so embarrassing, and it's so sad. And this is the point. They're trying to just be, run on this whole anti-Trump um, backlash thing. And listen, maybe that'll work. Maybe it'll work. But if it works, then what? Oh, so you won in a giant blue tsunami from an anti-Trump backlash, but what are you going to legislate into place? You're not going to do Medicare for all because all you ran on was an anti-Trump backlash. You didn't even say you were for Medicare for all. So now we have Democrats and not Republicans in a supermajority, and you're going to get the same thing you got under Obama. Namely, you have a Democratic supermajority, and here are the Democratic policies that they put into place. And that's why I hate these segments. These segments of like, Republicans bad. Titanic sinking. They're bad. They don't like women. They're bad. It's like, okay, well then how the fuck did they get every lever of government. There's obviously something going on there. If you're saying they're, they're, you know, they have no appeal whatsoever and they're sinking like the Titanic, but they win everything. So maybe you should do some self-analysis, Democrats. 
you know, you have Arnold Schwarzenegger trying to do self-analysis as a Republican, but it's like the Democrats are trying to do everything but self-analysis. And it's just, and he goes on to say that, oh, what we need is John Kasich, that kind of mentality. So in other words, Mr. Fake Centrism, you have the Republican Party super far right, the Democratic Party center right, and Kasich's in the middle of them and he goes, you should vote for me. I'm reasonable. What? No, you're just in the middle of the shitty spectrum that's already really far right and corporatist. We don't need you. We need anything but John Kasich. We need somebody on the left, the populist left, a New Deal style Democrat. So I, I just, these segments are so annoying and it's so, it's just such a, a Washington DC bubble wisdom kind of segment, conventional wisdom bullshit. Uh, well, yeah, the Republicans, you know, hey, they're, they're bad. Wow, fucking real brilliant. Thank you for that great analysis. Or how you say they're sinking like the Titanic, even though they want everything. Wonderful. You're really objective about this, aren't you?